We are here with one of the most epic and legendary maps in the Battlefield franchise. The literal peak, let's see if we can get in this Humvee, the literal peak of Battlefield here with Damavan Peak, Rush, Battlefield 3, and it, this is just, just incredible. Whoa, oh, oh, we're sliding now. Look at how good this game looks. Like, this is going on 10, uh, it is over 10 years old, and I know there's a bunch of, well, we're getting locked onto here. Let's see if we can park up here and uh, give him some space to shoot. We're gonna nade it up, let's smoke it up. Just the grittiness, the effects. This game, man, this was the peak of Battlefield. It's just legendary. I know Battlefield 4 improved a lot of things, but the maps, the maps is what set Battlefield 3 apart for me. Let's get you up. Oh, okay. Whew. Nice little double kill. Let's push forward. We already got the one planted. And I know there was a bunch of memes, you know, even back then about the blue filter, the uh, the very washed out colors, the the sun and the lens flare was absolutely ridiculous, but but it did create just an incredible aesthetic and atmosphere um, and grittiness to this game that is lacking in other ones outside of maybe Battlefield One. Oh, he's oh oh he's dead. Let's see if we can snipe him out. Is he gonna pull out of that? <laughs> he's taking the tree down with him. I love returning to Battlefield Three though. It is it is so much fun, and uh, I'm glad they included in Portal, but nothing like the real thing, right? get all these guys up. All right, we took the first places relatively easily, but uh, again, this map is just awesome. Assaulting down this mountain, uh, fighting for every inch, uh, defending and attacking is both really fun, but it is, of course, the third points, which are really the iconic ones where you have to base jump down to them. So hopefully my team can take this and we can push forward and then we can see the base jump. I'm trying to get up these rocks. Okay. Get some ammo here. We were completely out. I forgot how many smoke grenades you get. I had seven, I think, on spot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Man, I, my, my hand hadn't even touched the ground before I was revived. That's awesome. Do you remember classes? Do you remember how cool classes were? Oh, man. I'm kind of viewing 2042 as just kind of a fun, arcadey shooter. It is not a Battlefield game, though. I mean, compare it to this, and yeah, it's just not even close. Okay, let's see. Nice little first person takedown, nice, easy, quick, simple, just so much better than the third person takedowns. <laughs> and uh, taking the dog tags is of course very fun. Let's see if we can assault here on the right side. And it's not perfect, especially, you know, the newer ones, Battlefield 4 improved a lot of the gunplay, and uh, I don't like spotting, but uh, just, this game was awesome. It just was incredible. Probably, yeah, probably the one I was, oh, <laughs> I don't know how long he was up there, but probably definitely the one I was most hyped for. Battlefield 1 was a close second, but uh, yeah, when you saw that Caspian Border multiplayer trailer, there was that was mind-blowing. <laughs> see if we can snipe this guy out. And we're using probably the most, I, I don't know, in my opinion, one of the more meta guns in Battlefield 3. This, the M16, first fire just absolutely melts people. Oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. We actually took the points, so we get to do the base jump point, and uh, this one's really fun. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy out. We've been trying this whole time. Couple hit markers, come on. Couple more. There it is. Oh, here we go. Go, go, go. Can I get this? Oh, don't kill me! Let's go! Oh, we're gonna get it! E ah! There we go. Come on, pull, pull, pull! Oh! All right, let's do a regular spawn here. See the helicopter just diving off the, t the peak. And we're gonna do the base jump. But as cool as this map is, I actually don't think it's the best rush map in Battlefield 3. It's an incredibly fun map, don't get me wrong. It's, it's awesome for rush, but I don't like the tunnel points. Let's go, woo! <laughs> oh yeah! Whew, okay, woo! Yeah, that is just so cool. How, how badass is that? Come on. The tunnel, though, becomes kind of a kind of a meat grinder. All right, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot in the back right here. Let's see if we can position up to get a good over. Oh, ah, he was up there with me. Here we go, off the peak again. Woo! See the helicopter going down, and this is honestly like a big reason why I created the channel was just to show my appreciation for the the epic, the epicness. <laughs> of this series, and uh, it's unfortunate, you know, 20, oh, right out of the air. 2042 is not, obviously, uh, panned out the way any of the fans wanted, 
You can't, of course, close your... Yep, that's bad. You can't close your parachute, so once you parachute, you're locked in. <laughs> Let's see if we can get back down there. Okay, we dropped in behind him. Let's see if we can take this. Okay, I knew I heard a guy over there. Got my squad with me. Let's do this. Okay, nice. We got that one. We only have one objective left. Ooh, right. 44 mag right in the back of the head. It's funny to play this, though. I mean, it's, it's to me, it's the art style, it's the aesthetics, but, uh, the design, art, art direction, art design, obviously, like, the textures, the micro effects. Yeah, I got shredded by that guy. Micro effects and, uh, other things like lighting, it's, well, maybe lighting's even better, but it's not as advanced as 2042's, obviously. I mean, I still think Battlefield 1 is the best-looking Battlefield game, but Battlefield 3 holds up like crazy. I mean, this game just is awesome. <laughs> this game looks so good. And things like the soldier models obviously look better, like, just obviously. <laughs> It just looks so much better. It, it feels like a battle. It feels like military units clashing. Again, Battle for 2042. I don't. I don't know what they're going for. I have no idea. Just from an artistic perspective, so many baffling. That's actually a video idea I've been kicking around. Is like the most baffling design decisions of 2042. So I'll probably make that. Should be fun. It's a really hard game to make content for. I, I don't know what else I can. I want to. If if I make videos, I want to feel like I'm adding something. But it's just been talked about and discussed so much. I feel like I'm just repeating people. It's just, I don't really want to do that, so. Whew! Got him right out of the air. We are struggling on this point, but let's see if we can push and take it here. Okay, we're back on the roof. I was going to say, we need to clear off this rafters. They've killed us from up here quite a bit. <laughs> right in the head. I will make the argument every day that uh, Battlefield 3 had the best maps in the series. I'll, I'll make that argument. Including, the, the DLC maps were just incredible. Like, Aftermath, probably some of my favorite maps in the entire franchise. I, I love them. Oh, we're struggling. I've actually found this point usually goes pretty quickly for the attackers, as, uh, I mean, you can drop in anywhere on top of them, so it's really hard as a defender, because there's not really a front line to hold. This point, though, in the building can be difficult. They're, they're putting up a good fight. And, uh, uh oop! I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's try this, uh, try something a little different here. We got the saw. We're just gonna lay down some cover fire into the side, and I'm overshooting it, and they are flowing beneath me. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> this is not where I wanted to land. Get some! Yeah, I didn't want to land there. But we got it planted! Oh, nice! Now, yeah, that was the easy part. This, this is where... This map actually, it, it kind of falls apart a little bit to me, I, but I'm not a huge fan of Metro or the meat grinder maps, and this <laughs> totally becomes a meat grinder right here in this tunnel. And I think they get a tank or two even. It's... I think we do too, but it is an incredibly difficult point to take. Both of these. Yeah, so you can see here, I'm gonna set up and just spray. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, that tank got me. Yeah, it's... see that? It just straight shot into us, no cover. I'm gonna try to smoke it up again. Actually, we need rockets. Let's go engineer. Let's... Grab the G53. For those that don't remember the UI, uh, Battlefield 4 definitely improved the UI of Battlefield 3, though. I like the style of it, but like the loadouts and everything are just really painful. Not as bad as 2042. I, unironically, and I want to be positive. You know, guys, like I don't want to be just another negative channel. I, I genuinely love this series, which is why it pains me when I see things that I don't like in it, especially with 2042, but uh, I just don't want to bitch and moan all the time, but 2042 unironically has the worst UI of any game I've ever played. I can't think of a worse user interface, and uh, I did that video before release where I kind of dis- oh wow. Yeah, I kind of uh, talked about it, the different elements I liked, but wow. If I knew how it played out, I it would have been a lot worse, but a lot more negative. <laughs> It is horrible. It is, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Um, even just to choose your loadout, change attachments, swap, spawning, everything. Everything is bad. The map, I can't see myself. It just, there's nothing I like about it. But we're not here to just bitch and moan about 2042. We're here to play some Battlefield 3. So let's get back into it. And my team is really struggling on that tunnel. Meanwhile, I'm in the back trying to take out this helicopter with a SMA. Okay, let's see if we can get a lucky shot here. Oh! I I feel like that was close. I, it probably wasn't, but I feel like it was close. This point is painful. It's so hard to take. We haven't even gotten one, but uh, if we can break through and take this tank, I think, I think we can uh, actually do something here. Is he dead? Is he gone? 
Okay, raid boss is down, raid boss is down, push in. Whew, we did it! Base taken. We are on the last points. Now we have to push out of the tunnel back into more of an open kind of valley and uh, take the last two points. These last points are really fun to fight on as well. Oh my! <laughs> Where did he just like apparated in that tunnel? Is that the word? Okay, our first objective is to get out of the tunnel and they have two tanks just blocking the exit. But if we can push them out, then we can step by step gain a foothold into the next area. So, you know, if it's not hard fought to even get out there and, and push forward, then what's the point, right? You don't want it to be too easy as the attackers. We also don't want it to be impossible, and we're making progress. Okay, my team planted B. I think we're gonna take it here. I'm just, I'm, I'm doing my part. I'm absorbing the bullets of the enemies right now. I'm the distraction, and sometimes that's good enough. Come on, light them up, light them up. There's one. There's two. This is bad. This is bad. Get out. I'm getting out of that death trap. <laughs> we planted it. I think it's gonna go off here in a sec. Oh yeah. Okay, we did it. We won! That was rough. It was rough there for a minute for me. I, uh, I was not doing well, but 31 and 48. That's, uh, that's why you guys follow me. That's why you watch these videos for that high level skill. But uh, still, an incredibly fun time. Battlefield 3. I don't know why my ranks reset, by the way. I don't know why I'm only 10, but still, the peak of Battlefield, it, it was incredible. And sadly, may be all downhill for me. <laughs> But I had a really good time, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.